Good afternoon, and welcome to my presentation on tobacco cessation health promotion. The aim of a health promotion plan is to benefit the health, safety, and well-being of individuals and communities. This is achieved by resources, tools, and goals. The primary goal is to provide you with necessary tools to improve your health and quality of life. The purpose of this plan is to give you the education and resources to put an end to tobacco usage. Medical health practitioners have a role of keeping the community safe and healthy. This is achieved by using programs aimed at preventing and promoting prevention of diseases. Such programs are characterized by educational ses sessions in which the population is advised on what constitutes a healthy lifestyle and a healthy behavior and how to keep one healthy and safe in order to avoid chronic illnesses. Medical health practitioners are endowed with resources and knowledge needed to serve this purpose. Tobacco is the leading cause of ulcers and other chronic illnesses in the world. It is therefore within the responsibility of healthcare workers to engage the public in tobacco cessation programs. This health promotion plan is aimed at influencing the public against tobacco smoking by educating them on the health risk related to tobacco smoking and cessation strategies. Tobacco concerns. Smoking is the leading cause of death and disease in the United States. It causes harm and disability to almost every organ in the body. McLevy, 2017. Millions of people living from disease that is caused by tobacco. Some of these diseases are COPD, heart and lung disease, cancer, and diabetes. Eight out of 10 COPD deaths are caused from smoking, and it is the leading source of addiction in the United States. According to the World Health Organization, tobacco abuse falls among the leading causes of mortality globally. This constitutes for about 1.2 million deaths annually. Medical research indicates that tobacco abuse can cause several health disparities, including chronic illnesses like cancer, hypertension, and other cardiovascular diseases. It is a leading cause of lung cancer. Stemming from the diff difficulty in tobacco cessation, research indicates that tobacco is very addictive. It is, in fact, the leading source of addiction in the world. At-risk population. Tobacco's use spans various age groups. Youths are most affected by tobacco abuse and addiction. Abuse of tobacco majorly starts from adolescence and extends to adulthood. Tian, 2017. There are several ways of abusing tobacco. Most of these are through smoking and, and include vaping, e-cigarettes, and hookah. Other people also chew tobacco. When abused at an early age, it can cause serious brain damage among teenagers. The abuse of tobacco affects various age groups from teenagers, youths, adults, and elderly. Research indicates that most smokers commence smoking during adolescence and the behavior progresses through old age. This indicates the need for health sensitization across all age groups. According to the Center for the Disease Control, youths in America are mostly affected by abuse of tobacco with about 5.6 million smokers stemming in this age group. Most of them have resorted to more classy abuse of tobacco, like the use of hookah and e-cigarettes. This is majorly due to the influence by the media. Research indicates that in every 13 teen adolescent tobacco smokers, one or more is more likely to die out of smoking-related complications. Brain damage has been identified as a major complication resulting from abuse of tobacco. Healthy People 2030 Objectives Tobacco cessation strategies in Healthy People 2030 include inflating the price of tobacco products, including smoking cessation programs in clinical settings, anti-tobacco media campaigns, and increased Medicaid coverage of evidence-based treatment to help people quit using tobacco. Healthy People 2030 is aimed at stalling the use of tobacco or tobacco-related products and helping smokers seize smoking tobacco. There are several strategies identified by Healthy People 2030 useful in the tobacco cessation program and campaign. By increasing the price of tobacco-related products, most smokers would be forced to quit smoking due to unaffordability. Fostering tobacco cessation counseling cessations in the provision of medical services is also a useful strategy in eradicating the abuse of tobacco. This is especially useful in preventing new smokers. Anti-tobacco smoking campaigns have been a useful tool in the fight against tobacco abuse. 
This includes educational sessions characterized by educating the public against the dangers of tobacco smoking and the health benefits of tobacco cessation. Information to the public about the available to tobacco cessation services, especially through the media, due to its popularity, is also a powerful tool. Such campaigns should include stopping the advertisement of tobacco-related products in mass media, which normalizes tobacco abuse. SMART goals in tobacco cessation. What is being accomplished? Why do you want to accomplish this? Is it measurable? How much or how many? Is it action-oriented? Who needs, what needs to be done to reach this goal? Is it reasonable? Is this something that I can do? Timeline-based. When will I accomplish this goal? Good health just doesn't happen. It is a result of a healthy living each day. Determine where you would like to make changes in your life. Then follow these three simple steps in, in designing your SMART health promote improvement action plan. Number one, identify the area you desire improvement in. Write a SMART goal in for its achievement. Sp specificity is key in writing SMART goals. This includes being categorical on what you want to achieve and how you are going to achieve it. The second step involves tracking your achievement based on the already drafted objectives or goals. An action plan is instrumental in achieving your desired goals as it outlines the actions needed in a bid to reach your target. In setting goals, make sure they can be realistically accomplished within a short duration of time. Set time expectations by having a start and finish date. Such timelines are useful in avoiding procrastination and ensuring a focused determination towards your goal. The last step involves drafting and formulating the already discussed tobacco cessation health improvement action plan. SMART goals continued. I will meet with my health coach once a week to touch base and adjust the plan if needed. I will join a cessation program in a week and attend meetings at least twice a week. Instead of smoking on my lunch break, I will go on a walk. Next week, I will be able to lift, list five resources I can utilize for smoking cessation. Hutton et al. 2018. The following is an example of a well-designed smoking cessation smart health action plan. Your specific goal. What do you want to accomplish? Stop using tobacco products. Why do you want to accomplish this? to live a healthier life and improve the quality of life I am living. Your goal, I will quit using tobacco by the end of the month. Setting specific goals is important in tobacco cessation. Specific goals make the entire action plan achievable. The following examples of specific goals are ones you can set for your tobacco cessation. Specifications. I will quit using tobacco by using nicotrol inhalers or nicotine gum to decrease my f cravings. How? When craving nicotine, use this as a replacement to help wean yourself off tobacco. As the weaning process begins, then move to other options like snacking on fruits, chewing gum, exercising, or reading a book. Setting goals with an action plan is like playing a game with no rules to determine the winner. The following are specific actions aimed towards achieving specific goals. A tobacco, tobacco cessation plan should have both specific goals and specific actions toward the achievement of these goals. Quitting tips and tricks. You want to decrease stress to reduce the urge. Change routines that revolved around tobacco use. Keep yourself busy. Read, walk, or watch a movie. Reward yourself with success. And the five Ds. Deep breathe, drink water, discuss, delay, and distract. Lancaster and Steed, 2017. The following tips can be used for tobacco cessation. Most youth suffer from stress and depression and have resorted to tobacco use to relieve stress and depression. Many tobacco products are presented as stress and anxiety relievers in advertisements influencing more people into abuse. Many youths are therefore tempted to abuse tobacco when stressed. Stress reduction is a powerful technique for people who abuse tobacco for such reasons. It is also important to change routines that revolve around the abuse of tobacco. Such routines often create the urge to use tobacco. Such include 
uh, gapping to heart birthday parties or events where there is a probability of meeting abusers. Also, keep yourself busy to avoid thinking of abusing tobacco or lonely feelings that could lead you to abusing tobacco. In achieving any set goals, be sure to reward yourself. The brain reward system will ensure that you do not breach the rules. Ses session aspects for change. Divide the students according to grade or age. Conduct awareness assessments before and after the se sessions to determine effectiveness. Use pictures, charts, and images among students in lower grades. Engage the students in the session to make them more active. Session outcomes to reach healthy goal people 2030 goals. You want to eliminate smoking initiation in adolescents and adult young adults. Reduce the current use of flavored tobacco products among adolescents who use tobacco. Reduce current cigarette smoking in adolescents. Reduce current e-cigarette use in adolescents. Increase the knowledge and understanding regarding smoking cessation. Give resources to help promote smoking cessation. Educate on the effects that tobacco has on the human body. Reduce drug overdose deaths. And reduce exposure to unhealthy air. Healthy People 2030. Healthy People 2030 is directly related to the achievement of social detriments of health. Tobacco cessation programs are related to Healthy People 2030 as it is part of its objectives and also to social detriments of health in that by stopping smoking, a positive social and physical environment is created, which is needed for the attainment of healthy population and well-being for all. Above are the Healthy 2030 tobacco cessation related health indicators and social detriments of health. How to improve future sessions. Keeping a log of smoking cessation assessments to see what worked best to use for future individuals. Collaborate with parents to monitor and provide reports on behavior of students while at home. Communicate with parents and communities and determine their concern regarding tobacco cessation among youth. And include motivational talks from former abusers of tobacco. The following are identified areas for improvement in the education sessions to increase the effectiveness of smoking cessation programs in school.